Okay, so here's the tea. The real tea. The tea on how Nikki's Next to New came to be a thing. So it was all the way back in 2009. My mom has 25 plus years of retail experience. My mom has been in JCPenney. She sold cars. She sold houses. Um, I think she sold hot dogs at one point when she was like a teenager. She was... She worked at the go, my mom has been at, through so many jobs and uh, one day my mom was just like consignment. Um, my mother and I love fashion. We shop at consignment, we shopped at consignment, we still shop at consignment stores all the time. So my mom's just like, why not? We love to get great designer brands for less the cost. I mean, who wants to buy a $50 t-shirt? I don't <laughs> but yeah so my mom's just like consignment that's that's what I want to do so <clears throat> she started up a little store in, all the way in Howard's Grove um, it was a cute little store I remember her being so stressed she would literally be bidding on things on eBay so she can fill the store so the store would look super full obviously it was a huge success because here we are but I remember her also she's like I need a name and I'm like, I, I got nothing. I thought, you know, Nikki's closet, Jaslyn's closet. And she's like, I want it to be super, super original, something that no one else has. And I think one of her friends actually came up with it. And she's like, Nikki's next to new. And I'm like, no, absolutely not. I was not the biggest fan of the name Nikki's next to new. It obviously grew on me. But yeah, it just happened one night. She's like, this is it. And I didn't like it. And now... It's the whole store, and it's a great name. Love the name now. Um, so yeah, she filled the store up, super stressed. I remember one day, also I just got to schedule my bed saying you're working. That was, that's how I became an employee. So I know a lot of tricks of the trade that my mom has taught me throughout the years. Um, so back to the store. The store was super, super cute, and uh, 2010 came around and the owner of the building that we are in right now came up to her and she and he asked her hey do you want to move to Sheboygan and she flat out just was like no I why would I want to move she was being she was successful in Howard's Grove why would you want to move and uh, he came back I think <clears throat> excuse me like a couple months later I think it was and he's like hey do you want to move? And she's just like, yeah, I want to move. So she moved in 2010 into Sheboygan. Oh my God, you guys. I had never seen my mother so stressed in my entire life. It was, 2010 is not a year I like to relive very much. She was here all the time, all hours of the day, late at night, early in the morning. She would eat here. She would, she, this was like her home, uh, setting up the store. All the advertising we did and all the stuff we had to enter, so much stuff we had to enter. Oh my goodness. It was crazy. And uh, it was, it was crazy. So completely crazy. Um, I remember the grand opening and she was so nervous, so, so nervous. All she wanted to do was, you know, any business owner wants to be successful. So she, I remember just freaking, freaking out. And I was so mad. I wanted to be like out on the floor with everybody, but she had me in the back hanging things. It's fine. I'm over it. <laughs> But yeah, the grand opening was super successful. Um, and obviously we're still here. Uh, just That's just a little bit, very, very little bit. If you wanna know more about my mom, you can go on to nikkisnextnew.com, which my mom will put in the uh, description somewhere. Or maybe we can try again, maybe she, no, she can put it here. But if it's not here, it's in the description somewhere. But yeah, there'll be more about my mom there. Um, but yeah, every we've changed so much. Our store was our store was not empty by any means, but it is so full now. Like there is just stuff everywhere. It's so incredibly organized, which we 
are complimented on all the time on how organized we are. We work super hard at that. We have a list every week and it's organized, organized, organized. So it's a lot of work. But yeah, we have grown from, now we take uh, prom dresses, we order prom dresses, so all most of our prom dresses are brand new. We still take consigner prom dresses. We have changed so much. We do, we have gotten stricter on what we take in. It's, it's crazy how much we have grown and learned throughout 10 years. 2009, it's 2019, 10 years, people. Well, I'd say that's, I would say that's a success. But yeah, I am, my mom will be editing this, so I am super proud of her. She's an amazing woman. And yeah, that's just, again, just a little bit about how we started. Started from a small store in Howard's Grove to a very, a much larger store in Sheboygan that we are outgrowing. <laughs> we are busting through the seams. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about anything, or if you if you like this video, do you want to do if you, and you want me to do more videos like this, comment, link, uh, DM, Facebook. Let me know. I can do more videos like this. Or if you do like me just going around the store and saying what's new, it is fun for me to do. So I don't mind doing it. Um, just let me know. So yeah, this is just a little something new I wanted to try. I hope I can do more stuff like this. If you guys like it, let me know. Like anything, the Facebook or YouTube. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye guys.